Hey there, and welcome back to C8 Corvette Life. For today's video, we're gonna have two parts. The first part is we're gonna see if we can build a $200,000 Z06 Corvette. Then the second part, we're gonna compare that cost to the cost of entry-level Ferrari, Lamborghini, and McLaren, and see what the difference is in price, and see if maybe we could justify purchasing one of those other supercars over Z06. So I've got several items of tech running here. I'm like a 14 year old intermediate school student. Um, I hope everything goes off okay. I got me some notes here so that we can see how this goes. I can stay on track. So let's get started. Up here, I've got the Design Yours window opened up for the Z06. I'll click on the Customize button. And first thing we have to do is choose the body style. Since we're trying to go for 200 grand, let's start with the convertible. Okay, the convertible, 3LZ hardtop convertible starts at 125,850. We're not gonna do the special editions because you can't bill a $200,000 special edition because you cannot use the carbon fiber wheels on a special edition. So we're gonna go right to colors. I'm partial to orange. Amplify Orange is an extra $995. And then we're gonna go with the Carbon Flash, Roof, and Nacelles for $1,295. Next is Performance of Wheels. Of course, we're gonna go with the Z06 package, which is $8,995 plus another $10,495 for the required aero package, carbon fiber visible aero package. I don't know why, they will just include that in the beginning. Then we're gonna go with the visible carbon fiber wheels for 11,000, I'm sorry, yes, $11,995 we go with the Jake center caps, because we're gonna go with the Jake theme here later on. The Jake center caps are $260. We're gonna go with orange calipers for $695. And that's it for the wheels. Now on the exterior section, we're gonna go with the uh, dark cross flags for $225. The carbon fiber, mirrors for $1,285, the black exhaust tips for $395. Now the visible carbon fiber inserts, I could not find a price on those. So we're gonna ignore the price on those. That's the only price we're gonna ignore though. Then we also like these Jake rear hash decals. These are really cool. We want the Jake Carbon Flash Hood Decal. Now that package together is $995. And that's it for the exterior. All these items here, you can't use on the convertible. You can only use those on the coupe. Okay, trim level, we already chose a 3LZ. I'll just choose it here though. Now the interior colors, we're going to go with the natural. Oh, it just cracked. Okay, I'm going to edit it out and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, I'm back now. I only took about two minutes to reload it back up again. All right, so we're going with the natural interior. I'll be going with a two-tone option. And we're going to go with the carbon fiber Interior trim package level two. That's four thousand nine hundred ninety-five dollars. We're gonna go with the stealth interior trim package for five hundred and ninety-five dollars. And on the seats, which is the last section here on the Chevy site, you can do. We're gonna go with the competition seats, which is an extra five hundred dollars. 
We're gonna go with the suede interior with the suede steering wheel. It's $500. And we're gonna go with the natural seat belt to match the natural interior. I don't think the orange seat belt looks good with the natural interior. So we're gonna go with the tan on a natural seat belt for $495. Now that's a pretty good looking car. Here's the interior we've got so far. The carbon fiber really looks great. Uh oh, problems. This thing is always fashion. Okay, well, I'm going to load that up later and put it up here for you and you can see what the exterior looks like. It's a good looking car. Now that's everything plus the $2,595 for the front lift. Gas guzzler tax is $3,000. Now that brings us to a total of $176,350 for a practical max spec Z06 C8. Really not bad when you compare it to other supercars in the market. Now, let's look at the non-practical options and see really how high this price can go. Remember, we're at $176,350. Okay, first the personalized interior nameplate that goes between the seats, that's $295. You can custom order your own VIN number, that costs $5,000. Museum delivery, $995. Premium carpeted floor mats, $260. The Jake logo cargo liners with a frunk and the trunk, are $165. Now the premium leather travel bags that have the Corvette logo on them, $1,495. A cargo net is $105. Roadside safety package, $175. I told you, we we're gonna try and get this price up there. The collapsible cargo organizer is $165. The first aid kit is $55. A tow hook is $105. And the C8R rendered car cover, that's the beautiful car cover that makes it look like a C8R when it's covered, it's $1,195. Now that's everything. Even stuff you probably wouldn't want. And that brings a total to a fully spec and fully optioned 2023 Z06 Corvette to $186,360. That's it. We can't even get to $200,000, okay? 186360 for kind of ridiculously spec'd out. You got a lot of extra money, but really a practically maximally spec'd out Z06 goes for $176,350, okay? Not really a bad price, because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna see how that compares to entry-level base models for Ferrari, Lamborghini, and McLaren. The entry-level Ferrari is the Portofino M. It's a front-engine V8 with 55 horsepower less than the 2023 Corvette Z06. The starting price for the base model with no options is somewhere between $225,000 and $230,000. You know, the supercar guys are pretty tight with their numbers. It's sometimes hard to find out what they're gonna cost. But still, that is $50,000 more than the fully spec'd out Z06. See, the entry-level Lambo is the Huracan Technica. It's a mid-engine V10, but still with 40 horses less than the 2023 Z06. Starting price for the base model with no options, $239,000. That's $60,000 more than a fully spec'd out Z06 with 40 less horse and all the zero to 60 times and so forth, of course, are not, will not match the Z06 in any way. Half a second slower, actually. Okay, now last is the McLaren GT. It's the base model with no options, starts at 215,000. That's the best of the three, actually. It's a mid-engine V8 but with 55 horses less than the Z06. 
At $215,000, it costs $40,000 more than the fully spec'd out Corvette Z06. Now I know there are some attractive elements of these three supercars, but really, are there entry level base models with a minimum of $50,000 more than the Z06 worth it? Um, come on, really? Is the 2023 Corvette Z06 the true supercar killer? Yeah, that's for you to decide. Okay, that's all I've got. I just wanted to throw that out there. Maybe start some conversation. Give us all your opinions down in the comments. Until next time, I'm Tim. See ya!